the two biggest nights in the history of Olympiakos Pireos Basketball Club, there was only one common denominator, head coach Dozan Ivkovic. He was at the head of the bench in 1997, when the Reds won their first EuroLeague title. And he was back there again last month, when Olympiakos staged one of the biggest upsets ever in a European basketball final. If the first was a long-awaited triumph after Olympiakos had lost two, his three seasons with Olympiakos in the late 1990s, Ivkovic returned in the summer of 2010 as the club was changing in the roster to build a team based on young Greek players. We have a lot of rookies, a lot of rookies into the team, like Mazaris, like Slukas, like Papa Nicolaou. It is very, very talented players. We need the sun and need the time for hard working. Coach Ivkovic built the team around a great on-court leader, Vasilis Panoulis, but predicted that the team needed to improve day by day, game by game, and would not be at its best until later in the season. The most important, I think, it, it is the time. It is the time for working. I'm sure that until the, let's say, generally, day February, until the top 16, uh, the team should be ready. Ivkovic's prediction was truer than anyone thought. After a bad start, Olympiakos advanced by winning five of its last six regular season games. Once in the top 16, after losing the first two games, the Reds rallied again for a spot in the playoffs. All along, Ivkovic emphasised consistent improvement to his players without putting pressure on them. If officially I set some goals, I think it's going to be pressure on my team. You know? And only for that reason, I'm very optimistic. Only for that reason, I do not like exactly this <laughs> As the challenges became bigger and bigger, with the final four just a step away, Ivkovic used his experience to keep the situation under control. The first one, it is psychology preparation. We have to, pre to prepare the team to be mentally tough, not to be under pressure. A year after collapsing in the playoffs with a team full of stars, this time Olympiakos dominated the same opponent, Montepaschi Siena, to reach the final four in Istanbul, a destination that nobody imagined for the Reds even a couple of months earlier. It is my big pleasure that I'm here again in Istanbul. I have the full confidence in my team. I expect one a real great semi-final game. When Olympiakos led from tip-off to buzzer and upset FC Barcelona Regal in their semi-final, the confidence between the players and coach Ivkovic rose again. The philosophy that we play, it's, uh, it's our coach's philosophy, and uh, we try to do what he say. Uh, this team is exactly on him, uh, work on his way, and uh, we play the game that he, wa he wants to play. Two days later, led by the same young Greek players that Ivkovic identified before the season as the future of the team, Olympiakos made the biggest comeback ever in a EuroLeague title game, rallying from 19 points behind in the third quarter to win on the season's last shot. And Ivkovic, age 68, became the oldest coach ever to win the EuroLeague title. I think this moment is so high emotion. It's very difficult to speak. I cannot believe it. Uh, what we done, let's say, in the last five, four or five months. You remember our first game with Bilbao, low level of the basket until the highest level. The main thing what we did is we brought the fans back.